Hello and welcome, everybody. Uh, we hope you enjoyed it, your break um, and are all refreshed. Um, my name is Michael McGrath of OneSpan. Um, I'm based right outside of Washington, D.C. in the United States. And um, also on the line is Karen Chang of Aegis Technology, and she's based in Taiwan. Would you like to say hello, Karen? Hello, everyone. And we are the co-chairs of the FIDO Alliance's Government Deployments Working Group. Uh, we've been in this role for a couple of years now. And um, the, just to give you an update or an introduction to what the Government's Deployments Working Group is all about, um, we act as the subject matter experts and internal advisors within the Alliance on issues affecting the deployment of FIDO solutions for governments, for both enterprise and consumer citizen facing applications. Um, the standards or uh, specifications are uh, pretty sound and mature right now. So the Alliance is, is really uh, focused on the um, adoption working groups uh, which the government deployments working group is uh, one of those groups. So if you are a member of the, the Alliance or considering uh, joining the Alliance, the Government Deployment Working Group is open to all Alliance members uh, and would really like your uh, welcome your participation uh, in our group. So today uh, I'm going to lead off and uh, walk you through some high level uh, deployments uh, in North America and in Europe. <clears throat> and then I'm going to hand off to Karen uh, and Karen's going to focus on some of the exciting uh, deployments that are going on in Asia. So jumping right in, in Canada, the uh, Canadian Digital Service, or CDS, uh, is a federal government agency, uh, as it says here on the slide, committed to making it easier to access and use government services. Um, in a 2019 blog post by Damien Trudell uh, in the CDS's security group, uh, I'm quoting him, uh, I have fears big, big fears, fears of waking up in the morning and seeing the Canadian Digital Services cloud assets vandalized or destroyed because some bad actor got hold of someone's credentials and decided to muck around. Hey, this fear is real and even the most conscientious of us are vulnerable. So after doing some research, uh, Damien and his team, um, they quickly realized that the best solution uh, to let Damien go back to sleep at night uh, would really to uh, deploy uh, hardware-based security keys. Um, so what they did is uh, they, they did some research and uh, they deployed two security keys uh, to every employee within the CDS to protect, protect user credentials and assets stored in the cloud. Um, first and foremost, why two security keys? Well, uh, as a backup, uh, security keys are enrolled and bound to each individual user. Uh, so if an employee forgets their security key at home or loses it, uh, they have a backup and they won't be locked out of the CDS system. So uh, in that same blog post, um, the CDS reported after deploying FIDO, they've had zero reported account takeovers and using security keys has, has helped keep it that way. Um, there is a link to this uh, blog post here uh, if you'd like to read it uh, following the presentation. Okay, so moving on to Europe um, in the Czech Republic, um, CZNIC is the DNS domain registry in the Czech Republic. Um, and they operate the national identity provider called MojID. Um, MojID is, uh, makes it easier uh, for its, they have upwards of 800,000 users uh, to browse the internet and log into websites uh, that require registration and to verify users of the, for the providers of these services. So back in uh, August of 2020, um, the Czech Ministry accredited CZ and IC and Moj ID uh, with support for FIDO as approved under EIDAS, EID scheme at LOA Substantial 
for services integrated within the Czechy government system. And in September, uh, after doing uh, some further testing, they fully, uh, they put their service into full production. So the, and this year, uh, they had some exciting news. Uh, the Czech ministry also issued EIDAS accreditation from OJID's uh, national identity provider with EIDAS LOA high under the following conditions that are listed here. Username and password are used. The FIDO2 authenticator is FIDO certified at uh, level two or higher. And the FIDO authenticator is based on a secure element that is certified for FIPS 140-2, level three, or common criteria uh, ELA4 plus uh, using the advanced method, excuse me, methodical uh, vulnerability analysis, uh, AVA VAN5. Um, and also the FIDO2 authenticator must have pin set and pin is required for all transactions at LOA high. Uh, so this is, um, this is an exciting case study uh, in the Czech Republic and, and a good example of how FIDO is being deployed um, within governments. And moving on to uh, Sweden, uh, there's a deployment that really impacts both citizens and employees uh, for the higher education system. So uh, in Sweden, the uh, EDU ID is a Swedish identity system and a member of SWAM ID, which is an identity fer federation in Sweden that includes most of the universities, higher ed institutions and government agencies that are focused on research. EDU ID is operated by SUNET, uh, which provides the Swedish higher education system with access to national and international data communication and the national academic identity infrastructure. So the way it works is you, through e, EDU ID, a user who is authenticated within an organization is automatically authenticated with other organizations within that federation. And EDU ID supports a variety of authentication mechanisms, including FIDO's universal second factor as a two-factor authentication protocol. Next up is the UK's uh, National Health Services NHS app. Uh, I am going to just uh, give you a very high level overview. Uh, we have representatives from NHS uh, presenting to you uh, in a short bit. Uh, but just to give you a, a you know, high-level overview, um, to support citizen access to healthcare services, uh, the NHS created NHS Login. Uh, that's an authentication and identity verification service. Uh, it's based on OpenID Connect that allows the public to access NHS resources with a single login. Uh, as you could imagine, the NHS app uh, is available to uh, the citizens in the UK. Uh, and enables them to access services like booking appointments with their physicians, ordering repeat prescriptions, uh, and those types of things. Um, so one of the things that they found, uh, the NHS team found, is that, um, you know, to strengthen security and protect uh, patient uh, private health information, uh, they deployed multi-factor authentication, but it was it was a combination of a static password and then generating an SMS of OTP. Uh, and they found that that created barriers to access the medical information and services. So to mitigate those barriers, uh, NHS Digital, they, they, they look to biometric authentication uh, from a use, ease of use standpoint. And um, they uh, after looking at different solutions, they elected, uh, to, they opted for FIDO UAF uh, to fulfill that criteria. Again, uh, they will go into a lot more detail about this uh, deployment uh, in a short while, but I just wanted to give you a high level overview of that. Um, and then uh, last, I don't have a slide for it, but uh, you will be also hearing from uh, the United States General Services Administration on their support for FIDO in the government's uh, online web portal uh, called login.gov. Uh, and again, they'll be going through a very detailed uh, case study as well. 
So right now I'm going to hand off to Karen and she's going to talk about um, uh, the deployments that are uh, that have been uh, ongoing uh, and underway in, in Asia. Uh, all yours, Karen. Okay, thank you, Michael. Hello, everyone. I'm Karen of Aegis, and my base is in Taiwan. I will introduce the current status of federal government status in Asia. So let's move on to Korea. Um, government 24 is the official portal for citizens, which was operated by the Ministry of Interior and Safety. As of March 2020, provides over 90,000 services to over 14 million registered users. For users with a fingerprint reading device, the government needed to authenticate users based on six-digit PIN. The government do not store biometric data in a database for one to many matching. So Korean government implement vital UAF one-to-one -one matching of fingerprint. And this system was launched in 2019. Next is Thailand's Electronic Transactions Development Agency, ETDA. ETDA is developing a FIDO UAF system which will provide enterprises or organizations with a reference site to deploy their mobile authentication applications with a passwordless experience. The reference site also uses OpenID Connect to allow cross-government agency login integration. The system consists of three parts. In June 2021, both UAF server and authenticator already passed self-validation -validate as tested by the FIDO conformance tool. The POC proof of concept and trial run will be carried out in second half of 2021 to collect benchmark metrics and to fine tune the service. The main target is to roll out the sol solution in first half of 2022, and that is Thailand. Moving on to Taiwan, Taiwan FIDO services used by government employees and citizens. Citizens can register for Taiwan FIDO service with personal citizen certificates and log into many e-government services, including tax filing, assessing the government's My Data service, and voting for stock shareholder meeting, etc. Taiwan government hopes to have more than 3 million users by end of 2022. Additionally, um, in addition to minist Ministry of the Interior, currently government agencies would like to develop another independent FIDO system for financial applications. And uh, next, you may please um, take a look at the updated FIDO government deployment on FIDO website. And also there will be more information followed later in the agenda. And going back to move the floor to Michael. Yes, thank you very much, Karen. Thank you. So, so just to, to, to wrap up uh, for you folks, um, you know the, the government deployment working group is a, is a is a couple years old. Uh, it's a fairly recent um, adoption working group. Uh, when we first started, we we literally had a, a few deployments, uh, and that list has grown considerably uh, over the past couple of years, and uh, it continues to grow. Uh, so the so the the website link here uh, we is really a living breathing. Uh, page so we, as deployments and and recognitions of of FIDO uh, technology grows, we we add to the list. Uh, I also want folks to be aware uh, that there is a complementary uh, document uh, that will be uh, at this page um, that pr that you can download uh, as a PDF, and that goes into a lot more detail uh, other than what's just on the website, a mini case study, if you will. Um, but that's all we have for today. And we thank you very much uh, for attending and enjoy the rest of the summit. Thank you so much.